Hello guys and welcome to another installment of A Computers and Technology. Unfortunately today you guys are not going to be able to see my face. I don't have access to a camera right now and I do not own a webcam. That's something that I really need to go on Amazon and buy because it would come in handy. It's been a long time since the last Software Sunday episode and today I just wanted to have some fun. A YouTube user Apple Tech Geek recommended this to me in the YouTube's comments section. I played around with it for a little bit and I found it to be really interesting and really fun to mess around with. Uh, this is NVIDIA Flux. It's a particle-based simulation technique for real-time visual effects. Uh, this is just a demo showing off what exactly this can do. You can do a lot of really cool real-time effects. Uh, and I will show you what exactly I'm talking about when we get to using this program. Now, it is free to download. You do need a NVIDIA uh, developer account to download it. All you have to do is create one, uh, and then it will allow you to download the file. Uh, alternatively, you can just download it from my website. I will put the link to that in the description, but I highly suggest that you get it from the official NVIDIA website. As you can clearly tell, I am not an expert in this. I was just reading off what they have on this page. So if you want a further in-depth explanation of what exactly this is, they have a couple really awesome videos that explain it very well. Uh, I'm not going to try to go in-depth with it because I know I'm just going to end up butchering it. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and head over to the NVIDIA Flex demo. It comes in a zip file. All you have to do is extract it to your PC. Open it up, go into bin, and as you can see, uh, we have versions for Linux, Windows, and Android. I'm going to open up the 64-bit version, but as you can see, there's also a 32-bit version as well. And from here, I'm just going to run flex demo release.exe, allow it permission, maximize the frame, and here we are. I can see right off the bat it starts and I'm gonna bring over the notepad right now because they have a list of controls and directions for you on how to use this. You can read through those if you want to. Uh, typical WASD uh, to fly around, right mouse to look, shift plus left mouse to particle select and drag. And then you can see all the other controls right here. Not gonna read them all off because that's gonna take a long time. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you can play around with on the left side right here. There's a ton of options to change uh, this. I mean, this is something that you can mess around with all day There's just so much stuff uh, to change here. So let's mess around with the gravity. Let's send these balls up Woo! Uh, Excuse me for those uh, those weird noises But yeah, I I was messing around with this for hours I was having a lot of fun with this and there are a ton of different scenes I'm not gonna be able to hit all of them because there's just so many I highly suggest that you guys actually go and download this yourself and mess around with it because it's a lot of fun um, It's only a 70 megabyte download and you don't really have to install anything All I did was extract it run the program and everything just worked for me So I'm gonna cycle through some of these scenes not gonna stay too long on a single one because I want to try to hit a couple and I don't want this video to be too long but as you can see if I shift and left click I can drag this around and just fling it all over the place and there's a lot of scenes like this um the scenes that get really cool are the uh, ones that have water effects in them. Those are really fun to mess around with, and I'm going to hit a couple of those before the video is over. Soft T-Bot. Uh, these are all the same things, and of course, you can change gravity and all that other good stuff. Whoa! Soft Rope. That's also fun to mess around with. You see, I'll grab onto it and just fling it around here. Uh, and this is all real-time, all real-time rendering effects. <laughs> uh, and it's not it's not slowing down my system too much, which is uh, surprising. I mean, I have a uh, AMD FX 6300 uh, GTX 750 Ti, as I said earlier um so my system's you know middle of the road and it's actually handling it pretty well uh we have some cloth effects right here and i'm gonna try to once again i'm gonna try to go through most of these i'm not gonna be able to hit all of them and i don't want to bore you guys so i don't want to stay on one too long uh what else is here i want to move down and find something that's interesting oh the spear cloth ones need to as you can see we can uh rotate the spear around like so i can also change the gravity on that Woo! <laughs> There's various effects like wind effects and uh, drag effects and stuff like that too. Uh, it's just so much stuff to mess around with here. And it kind of saddens me that I'm not going to be able to hit all of this in this video. You know, if I hit everything, it would take me a couple hours to just address all the features in this and play around with all the scenes. It's a, it's a lot of fun, guys. I, I enjoy it. If you have some free time, I uh, I would suggest downloading it. Yeah, as you can see, this, this episode's kind of informal. I, I'm actually going uh, on a trip and I will be out of country, so I will not be responding to comments uh, until like a week after 
after this is published. Um, so, you know, sorry about that. I will try to get back to you guys when I get to back though. Okay, so this is one of the ones that are really fun. I'm going to scroll up here and mess around with gravity and you can see uh, that we get some really cool stuff out of this. Woo! <laughs> and we'll just slam it back down. And that, that just looks really neat. Goo gun. Oh, this is fun. Woo! Okay, so you fire your uh, goo gun by holding down the uh, space bar. And then we can just look around to point whatever direction we want it to go with. They call that thing over there an armadillo. It doesn't really look like an armadillo to me. And I forgot I can actually move up to it. There we go. <laughs> oh, this one, this is the fun one. You can tear these water balloons and water squirts out all over the place. This is a lot of fun. <laughs> Let me just make a whole bunch of holes in these. Woo! And, and you know, you, you guys can skip through these scenes. I, I, I know it's gonna get boring after a while. And I'm trying- Oh! Oh, it's just crashed. Well, that's a first. That didn't happen before. All right, let me reset this and uh, we'll try it again. All right, I'm back. I got everything set up again and running. That's the first time it's actually crashed on me. I was playing Fit for a couple hours earlier and uh, that didn't happen. So that's a first. And, you know, I know some of you guys probably don't find this too impressive, but as someone who has done a little bit of 3D modeling and simulation, I think it's really cool what they're doing here with all the, uh, how they're utilizing all the CUDA cores and the GPU to uh, render all of this stuff in real time. Uh, dam break and we want to draw fluid there we go and that's another water scene that you can mess around with we can uh, I'll change the x-axis gravity now and that's going up the wall going to the right oh that looks a little bit funny and you can see at times uh, things do slow down I had the screen recording software running uh, simultaneously with this which uh, what isn't really helping either there we go whoa look at all those it just came tumbling down I saw this in the demo oh this is this looks like it's gonna be fun do it Oh, that's awesome. Can I get, oh, can I get a close up of that? Oh, yep. Actually, no, it launches automatically. I, I just thought I was doing it. And man, look at that. This. So this is where we get a water gun now. So hold down space and we're gonna knock all this stuff over. <laughs> oh, and I haven't even started playing with any of the settings in this scene. Oh man, so much stuff you can do with this. Okay, so that's a really, really brief look at NVIDIA Flex. And I know some of you are going to say that this video seemed kind of rushed, and that's because it absolutely was kind of rushed. I, I, I gotta leave soon, people are screaming at me, I still gotta edit this and upload it and get all the uh, uh, stuff related to the site up there. So once again guys, link to this will be in the description. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and post a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. If you didn't like this video, please tell me why, and of course, please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you want to support me, you can use my Amazon or eBay affiliate links. You can also support me by checking out my Patreon. And of course, please don't forget to drop a like on the Facebook page. Thanks for watching, guys. This is a really neat demo. Uh, I will see you in the next installment of A Computers and Technology.